All right, let's go. All right, y'all. So this is what we're going to do. We are going to do a fantasy draft uh, franchise with Legends. And this time around, what I'm going to do is I am going to attempt to try and field the best team possible with a ton of Legends and some live players too, some current players, and uh, see what I can come up with. Now, uh, the best thing for me here is to try and see if I can get guys like Bagwell and maybe a Ken Griffey Jr. or somebody like that in the first pick. The first two picks are the key here, you know, trying to draft some sentimental favorites and all that good stuff. So let's see what we can come up with here. All right, so as y'all can see right now, <coughs> uh, I got fantasy drafts on. I got allow legends for free agents, so all the legends can be, all the legends can be in the draft pool. And I'm gonna let computer trades be on. No forced trades, so no cheesy trades. Like I'm not gonna trade my 27th round pick for, you know, <laughs> a 99 overall. I'm not gonna do that. Anywho, let's get on with it. See where we're picking. All right, so it looks like we're picking seventh. Yeah, we're picking seventh here. So, uh, opens up a lot of possibilities. So let's uh, start this off now. All right, so right now, all the ninety, some of the ninety nines were drafted. Uh, I get my chance to get Griffey here if I want him. Uh, I think that's where we're gonna go. Actually, in this uh particular instance even though there's Altuve right there maybe I can draft Griffey and then uh, trade for Altuve um, but uh, with some uh, some luck <laughs> so let's see uh, let's get Griffey here all right then we'll be waiting for a little bit for our next pick um, so hopefully we can get somebody of note uh in this next pick here uh there's josh donaldson that's not a bad idea for a pick uh there's luis gonzalez there's steve finley there's giancarlo stanton that's not a bad idea but i would wait for that one um Let's see. There's someone I'm gonna definitely draft sooner rather than later. Later, Fergie, uh, Fergie Jenkins. Uh, but let's see what else I can come up with here. Uh, every test run I've done of this draft, there's always been a Barry Larkin and Cal Ripken Jr. element, and I would love to draft the both of them here. And go from there. So I'm gonna draft uh, because Cal has more power. Even though Larkin has more speed, Cal has more power. So I'm gonna take him right now and hope that I can get. Yeah. So it looks like I can get Larkin too. Uh, doesn't look like he was taken. So if I want to get Larkin, I can do that. Um. don't really see anyone else I would really want to draft at this particular moment um, Josh Donaldson would be nice but not right now uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, take Barry Larkin with my next pick and now we wait I'm gonna try to see if I can maybe draft George Springer here with this pick uh, if he's available uh, yep there he is right there so my fifth round pick will definitely be Springer if he's available and I'll put him in right uh, let Griffey play center and as for this pick um 
this is tricky because there's Keifel and Verlander who I would love to draft as well. So, but because this draft is what it is, I might be inclined to just go ahead and take uh, Joey Votto because I, I, I really had no idea he would have, even have a chance of being here. Besides, if I really feel the need, I can always trade him. So, I'm going to go Votto here with this pick. If And I was about to say, if there is a Springer available, I will take him, even though Cespedes is right here. But if we're being serious with ourselves, Cespedes isn't better than Springer. So, therefore, I'm going to go ahead and take George here. Uh, it's a little bit of a reach, but... You know, I'm an Astros fan, so I'm going to take him. Uh, so now we wait. Uh, Springer would definitely be gone by now. Um, I'm almost certain of that because that is a pretty decent player, needless to say. 86 overall, and even though Charlie Blackman is still there and Tommy Pham with the same uh, attributes, uh, or with the same overall. Springer's a better fielder than the both of them. And has more power than the both of them. So, you know, you'd you, you be running the risk of him possibly not being there. So, I wanted to make that decision rather quickly and go ahead and take him. Now, I need to go get, grab pitching. Uh, so, we're going to do that. Going to take Verlander first. Because it's time. And then with my next pick... As much as I would love to draft Ferguson Jenkins right here, I, I don't know if I can justify it. Um, then again, it might not be the worst idea in the world to do so. And with all the the good play, the decent players at second and third, I can wait just an extra round or two to get one of those guys and catcher too. Um, so yeah. We wouldn't draft Fergie Jenkins. Go ahead and get that out the way now. Let's see if he would have been available. He would have. He definitely would have, but you can't you can't chance that here. Um now let's go after a uh we have our third baseman, that's Cal. I don't have a second baseman. I could get Paul Molitor and have him be my DH. Or I can get Miggy and have Miggy be my DH. Which isn't the worst idea in the world. Um, but Miggy makes like a billion dollars. So I'm not going to do that. Even though I turned. I think I turned the salary cap off. <laughs> if I didn't, so what? Um, I may take Andrew Miller here. You can't. It, you, that's a guy that's just unbelievably unstoppable. I can make him my closer if I want, even though I probably wouldn't. Um, so I'm going to take Miller here. Yep, and there's the run of <laughs> relief pitchers right there in the ninth round. So I'm glad I did that. Um, I need another starter. I have two, that being Fergie Jenkins and Verlander. I think in this pick, I'm going to take either Lester or Darvish or Cueto if I go pitcher because I'm in the ninth round, so that makes me seventh. So I'd have to wait a while to take another pitcher, and then if I wait, I might not have my pick of the litter. So I'm going to go ahead and take one of these guys. Um, Matt Bush is a no-go because his stamina is too low. Uh, he could be a long relief guy. That wouldn't be the worst idea. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and go with... Uh, let's go with Cueto. Because Cueto has the uh, the better stamina. And for his break, 86. You know, his, his break versus Lester's break. They're close. But since... I can leave Cueto in a little longer. I'm going to take him. So, we'll go with that. Uh, I mean, if 
we get lucky and Lester was a, is available. Oh, I just saw him go. Never mind. <laughs> I was going to say, if there was a chance I could get Lester, I would have taken him the next pick if he was available. I think I'm going to go with Darvish here, my next pick. Let's do that. That was a that was quick. And then my next pick here in round 11. I think I might go Lou Brock. If not, I'll definitely go uh, Dante Bichette. High power, or decent power. And pretty much best player available. Uh, I, and I, I also don't have a left fielder. So if I wanted to go that route, that wouldn't be the worst idea in the world. Um, D. Gordon would make a really good backup. I wouldn't start him, I don't think. Because I'd be wasting him. In center, I could play him at I could play him at second, and be back at his normal position, um, which isn't the worst idea in the world, at all. Uh, I've noticed I've said that a lot. <laughs> Not the worst idea in the world. <laughs> said that a few times. Uh, let's find ourselves a closer. Uh, Alex Colome. It's not uh, too bad a, uh, a potential draft pick, but I'm not going to go that route. I am going to take, with this next pick, uh, and take another bat. And I think we'll go best bat available, quote-unquote. So, let's take a peek here. All right, Ryan, Ryan Zimmerman would be the best at first we have a first base the best at second would be Rod Carew which isn't terrible but the, it's not Rod the Rod Carew that had high speed from last year's Diamond Dynasty so we're not going to go that route uh, Paul Molitor is a good idea for a DH uh, Brandon Crawford would be a good idea if I didn't have another if I didn't have two shortstops uh, Lou Brock but Lou Brock isn't the best hitter. So I don't know if that's a good idea. Uh, Chris Taylor. I could play Chris Taylor at left and come up clutch a lot <laughs> in big games. Or I can draft Dante Bichette. And you know what? Since I grew up in the 90s and a lot of my baseball watching was watching Colorado uh, hit the ball all over the place. Let's go with Dante uh, with that pick. For my next pick, I'm going to have to find me a backer, or a, a uh, I was about to say a backup catcher, but a, a catcher. I'm going to have to find me one. So, I wouldn't mind having Lou Croy here because he's younger than Chirinos and a better fielder. So, I think that's what I'm going to have to do here. Because uh, JT Riamuto got, got taken. And I completely disregarded him. I don't know why I did, but here we are. Uh, so, that pick is done. Now, let's go with... Uh, let's find ourselves a shortstop. I'm sorry, excuse me, a second baseman. Um, as for third base, I have one. So, I'm not going to place too much a priority on that so second base is what I really really need at this moment um that and a closer and for closer it's Kelvin Herrera so we'll just go ahead and take him just to kind of even things out since uh we kind of have our uh pick of any pretty much any closer we want since I I have Herrera here and I have Miller so Either way, I win when it comes to closers. Um, so, with that being said, let's keep this going. Uh, for my next pick, I think there's here's me being sentimental again. I am a huge King Felix fan, so we're going to go with that. Uh, with that pick there. Um, <clears throat> let's see. Uh, you know... <laughs> I'm kind of getting lucky here. Uh, Dante Bichette, for as good as he can be, you know, with the power, 
Um, Chris Davis hits at an overall of 94 against le- against right-handed pitchers when it comes to power. Now, his vision is kind of low, but 94 power is 94 power, so I, I can't pass that up. He'd make, a, he'd make a great, great DH. At least against lefties, he would. And against righties, because that 94. <laughs> All right, let's keep it rolling. Uh, Larry Doby is out there. Would make a great backup. Even though he's only 62 speed, so that kind of takes the the fun out of making him your backup anything. Solid hitter, but not solid enough to go, oh my god, I gotta have him. Uh, let's see. Second base, we still technically don't have. Uh, there's no technically about it. We don't have one. So, I think in this case, I'm going to go ahead and take Josh Harrison because A, he's the second baseman. B, he can play every single position. So, we're going to do that. Uh, next pick. I got my eye on who I'm going to take as my next starter or my next pitcher uh, to, be, to be maybe my long relief guy. Because uh, have I have my five starters. So, I just need to start worrying about... Uh, you know, who's coming in after these starters. Uh, Brad Brock is another good one, so we're going to take him. You know, just in case somebody decides to take him before I could. Um, this next pick um, is going to have to be another uh, relief guy or somebody that will end up in the bullpen regardless. So I'm going to take Jay Happ here. Best player available can't really go wrong with that um this next pick i love the point to the sky celebration that he does so i'm gonna take fernando rodney uh so that's always fun uh only a few more picks to go i'm not gonna obviously do 90 rounds of this because you don't have that kind of time (laughs) so let's keep this going um next pick charlie morton because of course Astro, a uh, postseason hero. So, you know, we got to go with that. Um, so, we have our outfielders. I kind of need some backups. Matt Carpenter is a good idea as a backup hitter, or as a backup position player. Uh, I don't have a true third baseman, even though I have Cal. Cal will be my third baseman. Um,. And I don't have a left-handed, you know, power hitting or a left-handed hitter that can do damage. So, I'm going to pick Carpenter here just because. Let's see what else we got. We only have a few more rounds to go. Uh, Let's see. Luke Gregerson isn't a terrible idea. I'm going to take Luke because he has, like... 130 break <laughs> obviously that's an exaggeration but he has a very good break on his uh breaking ball so taking him uh Blake Trinan is another good pick so I'm taking him too um and then these last couple of picks I am going to take some Astros because I'm an Astros fan for example <laughs> for example Yuli Gurriel, taking him. This next pick. Uh, oh, never mind. I guess we ran out of Astros. <laughs> we ran out of Astros. So I guess in this case, uh, there's either Tulo, there's Matt Kemp, there's Alex Gordon, who would make a great fielder, but the problem with him is he's only 45 speed, so I can't do a ton with him. Uh, Adam Jones would make a fantastic guy off the bench uh, when it comes to just a pinch hitter who can just, just do damage and put the ball in play. He's not going to strike out a lot, so he can put the ball in play, so that'll help. 
Um, last couple of picks, I'm gonna make about. Mm, I'm gonna make two more picks. Yeah, because I have one, two, three, six quote unquote starters. I have two relief pitchers, and I have five closers. So obviously, all these guys can't close. Some of these guys will be coming in. We'll figure it out. You know, but I don't have a lefty. So, <laughs> when in doubt, draft Oliver Perez, right? So, that's one pick. And then my last pick, I am going to take. Kind of need a backup uh, catcher. Kind of need a backup catcher here. Jan Gomes isn't the, isn't, uh, the worst. So, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to go process of elimination. AJ Ellis is too old. I don't want him because he can't hit. Uh, Jimenez, no. Manny Pena, no. Martin Maldonado, no. I say let's go with Nick Hundley and Orion Gomes. One of these two. I'm not taking Jason Castro. <laughs> See, that's that whole Astros fan thing popping up because, you know, Castro has 35 vision. I can't deal with that. So, in this case, I'm going to take Jan Gomes because better fielder. So, that's it. All right. So, we're done here. Uh, thank you all for watching this draft and uh, listening to my commentary. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you all later.